Hey everyone! In this video, you'll see how to offer a certificate of completion on MemberPress courses. With course certificates, you can give students a downloadable PDF and shareable link of a sweet certificate of completion when they finish a course. So they'll be able to show it off on their portfolio, LinkedIn, or wherever they want. Maybe their mom wants to print it and frame it on her wall. Well, that's definitely possible too with built-in paper sizes. Offering certificates can increase your course signups and boost your overall learning experience. You'll be able to set it up easily with pre-built design templates, insert images, add your name and signature, provide a shareable link, set an expiration date, and a whole lot more. So let's go to WordPress and see how this works. So here for my WordPress dashboard, if I go to MemberPress and Courses, here I have a sample course already set up. And if I go to Edit It, and then hop into Curriculum, you can see that it's all built out with lessons and quizzes. So now I want to add a certificate to it. So to enable a certificate for the course, just go here to the Certificate tab, and then click this toggle to enable it. So when students finish this individual course, they'll get a certificate for it. And not only will brand new students be able to get the certificate, but also students who've already completed this course. So once I enable a certificate on this course, if I have students who've already finished it, they'll be able to come back into the course and download their certificate. And then you'll see a bunch of options and settings to customize it. I'll go through each one that you see here. This first one, Force PDF Download, when it's toggled on, will download the PDF certificate file to the user's computer if they click the certificate link when they finish a course. And toggling this off will open up the certificate in browser. But they'll still be able to download it there too. It'll just be an extra step. We'll see what both options look like later, but I'll go ahead and enable Force PDF Download right here. Next, you can select a paper size, A4 or letter. And then here, you can select what design you want. You don't have to select anything here if you don't want to. One's already chosen for you, but just go ahead and click one to use it. And if you want a bigger preview of what it looks like, you can just right click on an image here and click Open Image in New Tab, and this will give you a better view. Now the next options I'm gonna go over are technically optional, but we do recommend uploading at least a logo image and signature here, and also changing your name and title. Unless your name is actually John Smith, and then you can just save a step here. Okay, so next you'll insert the logo that you want on the top of the certificate. So going back to the preview, it's the image that shows up here at the top. So I'll click here, and then select my logo image, and you can use an image in your media browser or upload a new one. So I'll just select my logo here. And then also just note that this image is going to show up on a white background. So just make sure you don't have any important parts of your logo set to white as well. So like my logo here, my original site logo has this learn text right here in white. So I just made an alternate darker version just for this certificate. Okay, so next is the bottom logo, which is this image here that shows up at the bottom. It could be whatever you want, but you'll commonly see some sort of seal like this. So I'll just click here, and I have this sort of branded seal that I created. So I'll select that, and it inserts it here. Next, instructor signature can be a transparent PNG image of your handwritten signature, like my sample one here. So I'll insert that. And then next, the title. So going back to my image, the title's this text up here. So you can customize that if you want. But I'll go ahead and just leave mine set to the default text here. And then you'll enter an instructor name. So I'll just do that right here. And your instructor title. So I'll customize mine too. And the footer message, so going back, is this text down here. So you can totally leave the default text or you can type whatever you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste some custom text here for mine. And then here you can change the text color. You can use this color picker or you can paste a color value if you have that. I'll just set mine to something close to black, right there. And then down here you see three more options. 
completion date, if you toggle it on, will show the date a student completed the course right on the certificate itself. So I'll enable this on mine. And then expiration date lets you set a date in the future that will show on the certificate itself with the word expires next to it, which I'll enable on mine too. So maybe you have a certificate program or a class where the knowledge will be irrelevant or has to be updated and learned again in a year or something. You can set the expiration date to one year here. And then right here, you can choose to reset their progress to the course at this time as well. So the student would lose all their course and quiz progress and would have to retake the course again. And in this case, the link to download the certificate would also disappear too until they retook the course. So after their progress is reset, you could go in and revamp the course with updated material, or it could even be the exact same course. But they'd have to take it again and pass your quizzes to prove that they're all up to snuff on your knowledge. So you have all these options available to you if you want to use them. Okay, so on to the final option. Enable shareable link when you toggle it on will give students the option to copy a URL to the certificate so it can be shared. So I'll go ahead and enable that too. And then to save all these changes to the certificate, just click here to save. Okay, and that's it. So now I'm offering a certificate on this course. And nothing here is set in stone. You can come back in the certificate tab and make changes at any time. Even if a student has already completed a course, your updates will show up on their certificate if they download it after you made the changes. So to see what this looks like, I'll go ahead and open my site in a new incognito window, so I'm not logged in as my site's admin user. And then I'm gonna log in as a test user account that I already have set up on my site that has access to my course. And the user's already completed the course as well. And you can see here that it's already completed. And then, since I added the certificate to the course, here's the link for it. So when a student clicks on it, you can see it downloads the PDF file here. And then clicking this icon here copies the link to it. And then so if I open a new tab, and then paste that link that I just copied, you can see it downloads the PDF file here. Here's what the certificate looks like. So you can see here it's got my logo, my seal, my signature, completed date, and everything that I set. So now I'm gonna go back to WordPress as my site's admin user. And then now back in my course in the certificate tab, I'm gonna to toggle the force PDF download off. And then I'll just go ahead and choose a new template design. And I'll also toggle this completion date off and also turn off the shareable link. And then I'll click to save the changes. Now let's see what this all looks like. So going back to my incognito window as that test student, I'll just back out of the course and then go back into it. And then now here's that new certificate link without that URL copy icon. And then now when I click certificate, it opens it up in the browser instead of forcing the download but the student still can download it here too. And here's the certificate on the new design template. So you can easily update your certificates whenever you want to. Now, going back to my site as my admin, if you ever want to stop offering a certificate on a course altogether, just go back to the certificate tab of a course and then toggle this off here. And then be sure to save it. And that's it. You've now seen how to add a certificate to a member press course. See our knowledge base for more information on creating and selling courses with MemberPress courses. Also, be sure to follow our blog and YouTube channel for all of our latest tips and tricks on all things MemberPress. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.